Hi folks, so last time we installed the ASRock N100DC ITX motherboard into the Commodore 64 Chameleon. So in this video I'm going to show you how I installed Windows 11 into this fantastic system using a flash drive. So I'm going to show you how to um, burn the uh, Windows 11 um, ISO onto the flash drive and then how to install it into the Commodore 64X. So without further ado, let's crack on. Hi folks, so um, if you look at the description in or, or on the YouTube, uh, on this YouTube video, you will see um, some um, uh, links. So the first one is the Windows 11 ISO download, which takes you to a Microsoft download page. Uh, the second one is where to buy the um, the the keys to make your Windows 11 uh, version legit um, uh, and fully installed and fully licensed. And then the third is um, the software to burn Windows 11 to your flash drive. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to copy the first one and then we're going to go to our <clears throat> um, Internet Explorer and we're going to paste that in and that's going to take us to the Windows download page so what we want to do is scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO and then we're going to select Windows 11 multi edition ISO it's the only one to select and then we're going to click on the download button now that is going to ask us to choose the language, so obviously you're going to choose your own language. I'm going to choose English International. I'm going to confirm. <coughs> and then uh, the only option that gives us to download is the 64-bit download because um, you can't get 32-bit anyway, any, anymore anyway. So we're going to click on that and there we are. So that's going to download. That's going to take 10 minutes or so to download. So while we're waiting for that, um, I'm going to take you to the Rufus um, page so we can get that. So let's copy that address and let's click on a, uh, another page. Paste that in the top. Click return. That takes us to the Ruf Rufus download page. So we're just, we're just going to download Rufus 4.3. And there that is. So that is um, open file. So if we open that file and click yes, um, do you want uh, do you want to allow Rufus to check for updates online? Yes, why not? Uh, and there we go. So Rufus is now installed and ready to um, burn this to our media. So. Um, why that's what we're still waiting for the download. Let's take you to the Windows 11 keys. So let's open another page, paste this in the top, press return. So this is going to take us to the site where you actually buy or purchase your uh, licensed uh, Windows 11 key from. So it can give you, so this is uh, Windows 11 Pro, so we'd have to select the Pro when we're installing Windows, I'll explain that in a minute. So if you want this key, it's $29.95 and that will make your Windows version fully licensed. Um, you buy it now and it will actually give you, It will. Um, I, I should imagine you enter your email address and it will email you the long code. So when we go to the point where we're installing Windows uh, in a few moments time and it asks for that, then that's when you can actually put that in. Maybe it's worth writing this down um, or printing it out. And then when it comes to installing this, you can then type it in. Um, but that's the code and that will make your Windows legit. You can install Windows without the key um, and then that just means that you've got a... Um, um, a limited amount of time, I don't know how long it leaves you before you start getting the Windows is not genuine warning signs up and things like that. But I just wanted to show you this, so this makes it fully legit. Now there is a rumor, um, I've been told by Ewan, that, when, uh, that Microsoft are gonna close this option down soon. So this is a way to get a genuine Windows 11 product very cheaply, $29.95. Um, they're closing this down soon, 
um, forcing you to go to the more expensive option which is going to be I don't know $70 or something like that um, but I just wanted to show you this option and let's see how we're doing with the download it looks like it's fully downloaded um, downloads oh no uh, we've got seven minutes less left so let's forward to um, the point where we've downloaded it okay so that that is now downloaded so if we highlight Windows 11 and click on the folder icon it will take us to the download directory where Windows 11 is has been downloaded to so what I want to do now is double click on Rufus and then we'll drop these down out of the way and this is where we're going to start the burning process to burn Windows 11 onto the flash drive so what I recommend now is you unplug all your flash drives apart from the one that you want to use um, 8 gigabyte and, 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 and more is, is, is ample to install Windows 11 um, I've actually got a 16 gigabyte flash drive that was lying around so I thought I'd use that one I did actually purchase one for this um, but I didn't really want to it's a 64 gigabyte flash drive and I didn't really want to use it for this so um, luckily I found a 16 gigabyte one so what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, click uh, leave it like that and then we're going to click select and then we're just going to that takes us to the download folder where Windows 11 is we're going to click on that and then click open that's going to um, do everything for us we leave this next window as it is and then it's got another program um, is accessing this device do you want to format it anyway so you click yes and then it will start to install it but before we do that I mean I want you to you guys to do that but there is another way to do this and if I just select no and come out of there what you can do um, is select oh no if you go download and then click that like this what it will actually do is download Windows 11 for you so if you don't want to go to the Microsoft site now I haven't actually done this and I can't confirm it's going to work but presumably what it will do is it will download Windows 11 and then burn it onto the flash drive for you so I just wanted to show you that option I'm not going to do that I oh I've done it again sorry I'm, I'm going to select um, this version and what we just did and I'll click OK. It's going to give you a warning about um, everything on that flash drive is going to be destroyed. Um, obviously, we want to burn Windows 11 onto it, so there you go. So let's fast in, fast forward until this is uh, all done. Okay, so I've got my uh, 16 gigabyte USB stick that's got or contains um, Windows 11. I've actually, oh, I've actually put. Uh, w11 on it so I know that this um, contains Windows 11 because it's quite handy to have I don't want to um, I don't want to overwrite it so I'm plugging this into the actual PC now I've actually done a dry run and installed Windows 11 on the Commodore 64 um, Chameleon Blue uh, that we did the build on previously um, but normally what would happen is you would, you would plug this in and as soon as you turn the button on, as soon as you turn the power switch on, it will go to that media source and start the installation. It's different for me because Windows 11 is already installed, so I'm going to power up and I'm going to have to go into the BIOS. So let's do that now. Um, so I'm pressing the green uh, power button and I'm going to keep pressing delete because it's sometimes it's quite difficult to get into the BIOS you don't press delete at the right time so I'm just going to keep pressing it until we get into the BIOS and um, what we can see is um, two partitions here I'm guessing that's the partition we want at the top um, so uh, if I move this mouse area around um, that is uh, the f we're telling the computer we're telling the Commodore 64 uh, to look into the uh, flash drive first for the uh, the boot media which will be Windows 11 installer so what we're going to do now is you can press F10 which is the FN key you hold the FN key down and press the zero key which is also the F10 key you can do that or you can actually um, 
uh, click on the, um, the disc icon there. But uh, so it says save configuration changes and exit setup. Um, I want to do that, yes. So now it should boot into the USB stick, the installer, uh, the USB flash drive, hopefully. So let's see what happens. That's a good sign. So we've got the uh, Microsoft, yep. So we are into the flash drive. So this is the uh, window that you should actually see when, when you've got a fresh install, there's nothing on the hard drive. You've just built your brand new Commodore 64X, uh, Commodore VIC-20 or Commodore 16, and you uh, want to install Windows 11. This is the screen you will get. So let's go next. Um, and install now. So let's see what happens. We should get um, something up. Right, so those of you that um, have already bought your product key, this is where you enter it. When you enter it, Windows will know what version it's installing because whatever version product key you've, you've purchased, this will install it. So what you want to do now is enter your product key that you've hopefully written down. Um, I don't have the product key because I haven't gone onto the web uh, site and actually purchased. So I'm going to click, I, do, I don't have a product key. <clears throat> you can still install Windows and it will work for so long, I don't know, um, offhand how long. When I do this, I always select the Pro, so I'm installing Windows 11 Pro. Then it's going to ask for us to look at the... Um, user agreement, licensing terms, uh, I'm going to set yes, uh, customize install. So what we're going to do now is, is I'm going to um, delete the partitions. You don't need to do this because you'll have a, a drive that's got nothing on it, but I've got to do this, right? So <coughs> what you will have is uh, the screen like this and it's got unallocated un un uh, space and what we have to do is click new apply okay and that's going to that's going to create the partitions that we need um, and then we can format if we want to uh, which we've done that now so then we can click next and this is now where it will start installing all the media. This is going to take a few, you know, 10 minutes or so. Uh, it might start, uh, it might re restart itself a few times. Uh, and then when it comes up, it's probably going to, going to ask us what keyboard layout and things like that. So let's push on through this. Okay, so, so far so good. So uh, this is the, it's asking us, uh, as Windows 11 got the right region for, for us. So for me, it's the United Kingdom. So it's got that right, so yes. And now it's asking what the keyboard layout is. So um, we're looking for US. So that's the keyboard layout for the Commodore 64X or the C64X, yes. We don't want to add a second keyboard unless you want to, um, so we're going to skip that. Now, I've actually taken the liberty of connecting this to the internet via an ethernet cable. So we're already connected to the internet, so now it's, at, it's looking to see if there's any updates. So when it finalises the installation of Windows 11, it's fully up to date. So um, it's just having a look. Okay, set up for personal use for me. I'm not going to sign in. Um, okay, so I've had to sign in because I don't know how to install this without having to sign in. Um, and now it wants to know whether it, it would allow apps to track what we're doing. I don't want to do that, so I'm clicking no. Find my device. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I know where my device is in my house. <laughs> Send diagnostic data to, I'm just going to go required only. Improve inking and typing. No, I don't want that. 
it's hated experience no let apps use that no definitely not don't want no advertising on this um, let's customize the experience so um, so this is just for you what you want to do so um, if you like entertainment you can click on this one you can click all of them it's entirely up to you um, I am going to click all of them anyway except skip for that nearly there now For this, I, I, I didn't want to back anything up with OneDrive because it's for the purpose of this video, but you guys can do that if you want to do that. Um, skip for now, I don't want to join anything. And it's checking for updates again. And here we have it. So Windows 11 is fully installed on our uh, Commodore 64 chameleon let me just move this down so that you can see this uh, I just got to turn this around so um, there we go let me just back up a sec so there we have it so Windows <coughs> so Windows um, 11 is in fully installed on our Commodore 64 Chameleon. Now, there are some other things that you can do. So, um, if I just click on here, settings, to see if everything's installed. So we're looking for a uh, device manager. So if I type that in. There we go, device manager, click on that and that's a good thing that's a good sign straight away so windows has installed everything now if we, we had any um uh, highlighted things here that with with maybe uh, um an exclamation mark it will probably um mean that this driver is not installed but um this is installed all the drivers we haven't got any issues here uh no, it's great that's brilliant that's just what we want to see so that means that from Windows 11 on this system um, from the previous build that we did uh, Windows 11 installs everything out the box it's fantastic so um, I think we're pretty much done on this video so um, just to show you how easy it is to install Windows on one of these Commodore 64s um, thanks for watching the video and, um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.